What's the best time of day to make cold calls? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Caruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to get into if you can't find a single property owner's phone number that you're really looking for. Let's say that you know that you know it's in probate or you know one of your clients said that you know the person that lived at that address really wants to sell so you're really just looking for that particular phone number and you can't find it what do you do before we get into that please like this video and comment before if this has ever happened to you, you have you ever had this situation where you're looking for a specific phone number and you just can't find it and I want to give you two videos that's really going to help you here one is everything that I learned after making a hundred thousand cold calls in my career yes I've made a hundred thousand cold calls in my career and I did a video on what I learned from the entire experience it's a really incredible video and also the other video I want to link is what's the best time of day to make cold calls so let's get into this so you're looking for this phone number of this particular house you know that something's going on. You've heard from somewhere that they want to do something. Maybe they want to buy, maybe they want to sell. You just know that something's going on there and you're really just gunning for that phone number. And so many people, so many of you guys have reached out to me saying, what do I do in this situation? That's why I want to make a video about it because you know that's how I come up with video ideas for the most part is you guys asking me so many questions, so many of the same questions over and over and over again that I say, you know, enough people want to know about this, I should probably make a video about it because I've answered this question over and over and over again. So here it is. When you're looking for one specific phone number, okay, go knock on the door. You know, if you can't find it, you know, there's, there's a lot of different avenues. You know, you got Google, Spokio, you know, white pages. There's a bunch of different, you can Google a, a lot of different ways you can try to locate that phone number. Um, you can go knock on the door. There's a lot of different things that you could do, okay, to try to find that person. But I think this is the bigger picture answer, the bigger picture, you know, philosophy behind this entire, you know, cabacle. And that is that, you know, I'm going to spend about two seconds looking for that number before I just completely forget about that situation and move on to all these other deals that I have lined up and phone calls I need to make and things I need to do. I think that you getting tied up in your mind mentally on this one house, this one deal that may or may not happen and you start spending like a half a day looking for the phone number is absolutely ridiculous. Look for it for a second. If you're really that concerned, go knock on the door on the way home. If you can't get a hold of them, there's not much else you can do except for go back and knock on the door again. Maybe go to the person who told you about the person that might want to buy or sell. Ask them if they have their phone number, but don't, I repeat, do not spend a lot of time on this specific situation. If you find it quick, great. If you call them, if you do a deal, great. If you don't, please don't let it bog you down because the, this right here, these little scenarios of, you know, you spend a half a day doing this one day, you spend another half a day on something else similar. There's this one situation where if you'd have just squashed both of those things and just spent that same eight hours calling 600 people or whatever, how many ever people you can call, talking to 50, you know, you could have talked to 50 people or more during that same time frame that it took you to try to find those two people that, you know, may or may not want to do anything. So this video is more of a reverse psychology thing on you to let you know that please don't spend a lot of time on stuff like this it's going to hold you back it's going to it's going to hold your production down and you're going to look back at the end of the year and say well why didn't i sell 100 properties or why didn't i make 100,000 or whatever your goal is you're going to say why i don't understand and you're really not going to understand but i'm hoping that this video you know snaps reality into you a little bit where you realize you know, hey, I do spend a lot of time on things that take way too much time that I could have been utilizing to multiply my production, okay? So that's what we want. We want you to multiply your production. We all only have so many hours in a day, same amount of hours in the day. I have the same amount of hours as you, okay? It's how we utilize it. If we're gonna spend half that time looking for one phone number, then 
we're kind of, <laughs> we're not being as productive as we can be. So I hope that helps you with your mindset a little bit. Go check out one or both of those videos, everything I learned from 100,000 cold calls and the best time of day to make cold calls. Get out there and crush it. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.